Yo, good day guys. Brisbane Brothers here. Ozzy and Dance. Got a cool one for you today. We'll get Dance to run you through it. Back out today, guys, with the XY. We're doing the full automatic to manual conversion. We hit a bit of a curveball. These were the pipes running in the car with the C4. They cleared the bell housing fine. You can see there was, there's a bit of beading on them here and there. But guys, they will not go back in. Now, the customers requested the engine didn't come out. So what we would have preferred to have done is pull the motor and box out, done the conversion, put the motor and box back in. This wouldn't have been an issue. But because the motor must stay in this car, thank goodness, Basemaker's innovated. This is the new guys. Have a, have a quick notice the design's changed. They've swapped around the orientation of the pipe. Not only that, but they've actually got four individual pipes tacked into a merge collector and you can just remove the tack and you can slip out the pipes. So look guys, they're all individual. Completely, you see they're not a joint flange. The flange is separated. Yep, nice. Grind the tack, you can separate and get it in and it's an absolute godsend for this project. Thanks guys, pacemaker. Awesome, this is gonna save the day. The customer's not happy with having to get new pipes, but guys, it's an investment. He's gonna have these beautiful brand new pipes. That's, <laughs> that's what this car deserves. Go, guys, fast forward, show you the results. Smash that like and subscribe guys. Thanks for watching. Just moved outside guys, cause you don't wanna spray any swarf. And the guy's beautiful brand new shed and his beautiful car. So, all right, so basically, all you have to do is just remove that tack, the absolute minimum. Make sure you wear safety glasses and it's cutting this. Oh, you know how to use a grinder. What am I going on about? One pipe off, it's exciting. It's way closer already. Yeah. So close, guys, but we don't want to scratch the bait. Alrighty, all right, let's so get this one, one that'll take off and right angle. get popping. Alrighty, so we've ground that well there. Give her a bit of a wiggle. Might need a touch more, eh? It's coming out at the back there. Might just need a good hit to just split it. You don't want to hit it too hard to oval it, but just to crack it. Yep, did you hear that, guys? Yep. So close. It was <laughs> like a, just a tiny, like a slither of steel, but it's cracked now. Had a pop when I let go. <laughs> we didn't get angry, guys. No, not at all. The customer no. rocked out right when we were angry. I mean, wait, what? no, what? We're happy they made it such a tight fit. Basically, guys, the slip join is not as easy as Look, it, one thing I recommend slip. to Pacemaker, you've made it to come apart. Why put the spot weld on there? Because the powder coat job's a bit substandard and it rusts in there so badly you that it grabs. Know, we actually, we had a hell of a time getting that apart, guys, and we're strong as. <laughs> yeah. no, nothing slipped. It's a cunt's joint. Okay, guys, so a little tip. I've seen all of these guys saying to angle grind that bevel away there online. Don't do that, guys. Just um, turn the steering wheel, turn the wheels that way. Pitman arm goes that way. You get your two off. Now, we didn't want to undo all four after how hard they came apart. I didn't really want to be bashing four back on, but slip the pipe straight up here. Let's get that. See here, guys. Two pipes between the box and the bell. Straight through, straight up. Yeah, mate, if there was a gasket there, she's on. She's on and she's in. Yep. Oh, sweet. Okay. Awesome. I'll just give it. So that's a half fitted right. extractor. Just gotta go and get the other 50 percent of it that's out there on the floor. It will be to clean up these holes and smooth. Absolutely, wire brush in there. Give them an arrow. Angle grinder on the end of the pipe so that they slip in and yeah, out. Yeah, we want them to slip in and out before let's, we. Let's get yeah. into that. All right. I can see. Um, see those little like spot pits there that we were fighting to get it out. I'm gonna just Fight get them. the angle grinder and I'm just gonna quickly go nyut nyut nyut. Just want to get a quick scene here before we go ahead and put this extractor back in the car. We've cut those, we've got them coming in and out nice and easy. But the difference here between the XY and the XA to XD pipes is this height difference here. This will just fit when it's together between the steering box and the engine and this XD one here. I don't know if you can see there's a full to two finger about a 35 mil difference here how much high this is and that one's already been bashed to clearance too but it just doesn't fit so these pipes here are x a to x e that pipe there x w x y 
obviously XR, XT, you'd want that same set of pipes too. All right, Dancy's gonna tell you the next little TP goes. All right, guys, so basically you wanna get the, um, the gaskets with these pipes, the four lower holes on the pipe are hangers. The, the top holes are enclosed, the, lo the lower holes. Sorry, guys, I actually just pulled the pipe out so you can see the hanger on the bottom. So basically what you wanna do is get your extractor gaskets and you wanna um, use the four bolts, just bolt in the gasket on the, on the lower position. And then it's ready, guys. You can go and just hang the fucking top pipe on. Alrighty, yep. Easy. Let's get that sorted and slap her in. Another thing, guys, is when you um, relate to us about the uh, project and you convey we do a build plan, any advice we give, guys, it's, um, it's paramount you follow it. Otherwise, it can end up costing you a lot more. Guys, see this slip joint? You must, with an XY, four into one, top loader, if the engine's in, this is the two V part number. The pipe. If you're going four V, it's forty ninety five. So that's a little tip there, guys. With the XDs, you can kind of just squeeze them in. From if you're lucky, you can get them in. You can probably lift the engine up a bit to get them in. With the next wire for top loader, manual bell housing, four into ones, you must deconstruct the pipe. And if you've got pipes like this, you can't deconstruct. Then you've got to pull out, guys, and buy a new pipe. Okay, so so far, guys, we've had those two off. We've got this one on hanging. See what we mean by leaving the bolts just started with the threads out. And then you can kind of hang the exhaust with the hanger on that lower stud there. And our old man taught us, taught us a few things that were good. One of them is always go for the hardest job first. Always go for the hardest bolt first. Always go for the hardest task and then the job just goes downhill from there. Alright, so we'll try and get this back on in. Oh, what? You're close, man. You are close. Oh. Oh. Is there a vise over there? No, oh, the, the flange just has to go. Yep, you're on. Yep. Oh, <laughs> guys. Wait, hang on, hang on, hold it, hold it. Right, so the trick now, guys, is I've got to go off the thread, into the hole, and then carefully try and get it back. Lost vision, lost vision, lost view. Try and get it back. Yep, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yep. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Righty, so, we've got the XY. You know what they say, guys? Nothing good comes easy in life. So there was a little bit of a challenge, but we got it in, guys, and it's Look how absolutely well they've done these beautiful, beautiful spacing in here. It's exciting, guys. You have a close look at them, you can see they've put a lot of effort into bending the back part of the header back up. I think I'm over here, just have a bit of a look. See that clearance in between the steering box? With the proper set of pipes, there'll be no rattling going on there, guys. Have a look how that pipe there tucks under the block there. You'd never get that in if it didn't come apart. Yeah, what I love about these. And then have a look over on this side around the bell housing. Now I showed you that flange. See the thickness of that flange there from the flat to the back? That's a lot bigger than a C4 and it gets bigger up around the side there. That's amazing. That is like the tightest fitting set of pipes. It's like a Rishko, so you can get pacemakers, guys, and you can put them into the car when the engine's already installed.